Yes! Yes! Town one, Wingate and Finchley nil in the quarter final of the Velocity uh, Bostic League Cup. Uh, just arrived home from the game um, after what was a bitterly cold, freezing night, having to go all the way to Wingate to watch the game. Um, one nil, one nil. It was quite, quite a, a, a tough game to want to show. Um, we we could have won by two or three, um, but Wingate made it made it quite difficult for us, and I thought they were quite a, quite a good team. Um, but in the end, we come up with a one nil win just because um, just from a Jake, Jake Robinson penalty won by Adam Cunnington um, from a set piece. I think he got fouled in the box pushed and they ref gave a penalty. I didn't see the foul, so I, I can't really comment on it. Uh, Robertson, Robertson stepped up, uh, put the penalty away. Um, we got a second penalty in injury time from lovely work from Sanchez and O'Hara to win the penalty. Uh, Robinson put it wide, which would have been his 40th goal of the season, so he's still on 39. Um, but in the end, it didn't matter, and we came away with the 1-0. Um, I, I thought that the first half we should have been two or three up. Uh, we had we had three cleared off the line. The keeper made one really good save um, from I think it was a pennant shot, uh, and he made a good save from a pennant free kick as well. So we had we had a number of chances in the first half, but the second half it sort of changed. Wingate did come out with a much higher tempo. They were pressing a lot hard higher. Um, and they, when they got the ball, they played it down and wide really quickly um, and really early. I, I thought that I was quite impressed with the couple of lads they had up front and Quinton, who used to play for us out wide. Um, they were looking to get him direct, playing him directly quite quickly. Um, and they put quite a lot of dangerous balls in the box, swaying in. We had to deal with a lot of headers and we made quite a lot of clearances. But in terms of chances, they only had one at the start of the first, uh, second half. Um, where Alan had to get down low to save a cross, cross come shot but apart from that they didn't really create too much but they were quite attacking um, and aggressive on the counter attack uh, which left this bit slightly vulnerable so we just had to deal with that um, but I thought we did quite well on that front um, just had to keep our heads really and not, not over commit forward too much and make sure that we just didn't leave too much space in behind which I thought we did quite well um, and in the second half we didn't really play as well I don't think as the first half um, but again we could have probably had another goal um, or two we got in a couple of times and it just needed the final pass just from Sanchez a couple of times uh, just, just for tap-ins really across the box but we didn't quite make that final pass um, but in the end it didn't matter so we will take the 1-0 definitely go through to the semi-final um, in terms of performances I was really impressed again with the lads that haven't played too much um, Jamie Hara in the middle of the pitch was brilliant again didn't didn't lose the ball hardly at all I can only recall him making a miss pass once um, he was really great first touch once again great passing great technique and won the penalty uh, just last minute running on into the box surging on in the last minute and won the penalty unfortunately um, we couldn't score from it but he had a great game again and Sanchez Watt probably for me uh, was man of the match actually I was really impressed with him he played really well out wide on the left cut in a number of times um, dropped his shoulder a number of times beat, beat the full back got in behind them and put in dangerous crosses or got in a couple of dangerous shots um, so for me, I'd probably give Man of the Match to Sanchez. Um, I, I did actually really enjoy watching him play today. So onwards to the semi-finals. Um, I think from what I can remember, there's still a lot of games to be played in that. But I think the teams we could get is Corinthian Casuals. Um, I think it's Met Police or Enfield who still got to play. And also Brentwood have got to play Shoreham. And the winner of that plays Dulwich. So any of them teams we could play. Dulwich, Brentwood, Shoreham, Met Police, Enfield or Corinthian Casual. So quite a number there. But um, not really bother too much who we play. But Corinthian Casual would be a nice one because we've not played them in a num number of years. Um, and they've got quite a unique fan base. So that would be a good one to go to. So 
Until next time, we got um, Haraburra on Saturday in the league, which will be at home at the AGP Arena, who I wasn't very impressed with on the last time we played them. I thought they were one of the poorest teams we played, so I think we'll um, have a positive result on Saturday. And then going into next week, we've got three games, so bring it on. Semi-finals, two competitions, second in the league, six games in hand. Still in the trophy. What a season so far.